Hello guys, today we're going to be learning about Keith Haring in our pop art project. So this is Keith Haring. Keith Haring was born May 4th, 1958 in Reading, Pennsylvania. He died February 16th, 1990 in New York, New York. He used acrylic paint and he was also a pop art artist. Keith Allen Herring was an American artist whose pop art emerged from New York's graffiti subculture of the 1980s. His animated imagery has become widely recognized as visual language. And in this PowerPoint, we're going to be looking at his most iconic imagery, which are his dancing figures. Herring's dancing figures clearly invoke fun, joy, energy, and community, and can also be considered a reflection of the artist's love of hip-hop, which was emerging in New York around the same time his art rose to prominence. He would often listen to rap while painting and was inspired by its movement and energy. And this is just our definition of pop art. Pop art is a style of art based on simple bold images of everyday items such as a can of soup painted in bright colors so as we go on now we're going to just be looking at some of his artwork so as we look at his artwork take it in for inspiration for when we do our own of course all of us are going to look different but you can always go back and look at this and see what colors that he used or how he decorated his All right, guys, so we're going to be needing the same supplies we've been using, a piece of paper. This time we're going to need a pencil with an eraser, crowns, colored pencils, markers. I'm using some markers as well. All right, so the first thing we're going to be doing is folding our paper in half. So I'm folding it hot dog style first. You can need either way, but I'm just folding it in half. And then I'm just going to fold it in half one more time. So after we have it folded, all we're going to do is reopen it back up. So here we go. This is mine. And after you have it folded out, I'm taking a black crown and it's drawing along the lines that we just made. So just following the line and then I'll do it on the other side as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying my best to draw on the folded line that we made. After that, our paper will be facing portrait. So this is my paper. We have four little places to draw. So that's where we're going to start off. The first thing we're gonna start off with is a circle. Not too big, not too small. I drop fairly lightly when I do this, a straight line. Two little curved or two little diagonal legs, little feet and straight up arms. And what I do next here is the same thing. I'm going to start off with a circle little head. And then I'm going to draw my straight body. An arm up just like my other one. Then I'm going to have a straight line down and out. Horizontal line, vertical line, horizontal line. I zoom in here so you guys can see all that. Right here, it is a diagonal line. Another diagonal, diagonal. So it's kind of like a zigzag, just like that. Remember to pause if you guys need to. And this is for our third one. I'm going to start off with a circle again. This time his little body is kind of curved, a slight curved line. And then we have horizontal out, horizontal down, out. And his arms are up, diagonal up, both sides of his arms. I just give him little hands facing that way. So of course this last one's a little harder. So it's a diagonal line, another diagonal line, two long diagonal lines, pretty close to each other. Kind of looks like he's barking already. His body is slightly curved. 
straight line out. Once again, it's the same zigzag feet. This arm is horizontal, diagonal, and straight up. There we go. Once we have all of these drawn, the next thing that we're going to be doing is just outlining their bodies. So you can outline the bodies in markers or crowns. So all I'm doing is tracing around it. So I'm just giving it, it's a little bubble body. Nice and round. So that's all you have to do for all of these. Is give it a little bubble body. They don't have to be perfect. Anywhere it curves. Is where you round it out. This is going to repeat for every single one. Rounding out all of our sharp curves. Usually with the head, I follow the exact shape. And then with all of the rest, I just like to curve it all out. Some parts might be squarer, some parts might be rounder. Any way it goes, I always just try to make them a little thicker than their little skeleton. And I'm gonna round it out. Just rounding them out. There we go. And for our last one, our last one's a little bit more difficult. And for our last one, it's these two triangle ears and a rectangle mouth. There we go. And the rest of his body is just like our other guys. Nice and round. Nice and round. So this is tracing all around his body to give him nice thick skin. Round it out. So it's okay if we mess up a little bit. Some of ours might be rounder. Some of ours are might be squarer. Just depends. So after we're all done, you're going to erase all of their little skeleton bodies on every single one of them. And then we get to decorate and color them. We get to do some little lines. Some of these are active marks, some of these are talking marks. All of ours might be different. As you can see, I'm just doing some decorations. You guys can always go back to our PowerPoint and look at all the different things that he had done to his and you can always mimic his artwork as well. This is one I'm just doing with different types of markers. You can also do those crowns, just tracing around the color. And here I'm just using solid colors that I think will fit perfectly fine. You guys can draw pretty much anything in the backgrounds as well. You could do hearts like his, you could do tons of different squiggly lines. So just be creative, have fun. You can use any color combinations. So remember, look back at the PowerPoint if you run out of ideas. And these are just some great works of art to have and do.
You could even try to do a nice squiggly line pattern. This is my favorite. Uh, it's just tons of different squiggles. Little tiny lines with little dots. And sometimes they look like little smiley faces. I just color my little person however I want. So anyway goes. All right, so this is mine, nice and finished. You can see my squiggly lines, my nice fun little plain horizon lines. They're super cool. They're really fun to do, so I hope you guys have a great time. Goodbye. Ooh. Wow, these actually do turn out really great, guys, so I hope you guys have a lots of fun. They look good two together, or all four. All right? Bye, guys.